Jaw drops by Jason's place above Bobby's. She knows it's late, but she did something she regrets and needs to talk to someone. She reveals she told Christina that her beloved father sent Dex to kill Cyrus. Jason gets her water to sober up. Jason has heard about Dex from Carly, but hasn't met him yet. Jaw says Dex protected Sonny, and then Sonny turned on him and called him a traitor. She doesn't think Dex would kill anyone, but Sonny had him so screwed up that he was willing to follow his orders. She doesn't understand how Christina can be so blind about Sonny. Jason says most people want to see their parents in a good light, and maybe she's not seeing Sonny in a good light right now. Joss wonders if she's a terrible person, but Jason assures her that she's not. She says maybe her mom was right, and she said all of this anger and hatred for Sonny is just hurting her. She realizes now she has a point, and she should not have said what she said to Christina. It made her see that she too can be cruel at times. She's not mad at Christina, she's mad at Sonny. Jason knows Dex isn't working for Sonny any longer, right? Joss says he's going in the opposite direction and becoming a cop, and she knows Sonny will be angry about that. Jason agrees, Sonny could see this as a threat to him. Joss still loves Dex and will grieve him the rest of her life if Sonny has him killed. She asks if he isn't going to tell her that she's wrong about Sonny killing Dex. Jason admits he doesn't know Sonny anymore. Joss asks if he hates Sonny for turning on him so quickly. Jason doesn't. Joss says Sonny always preaches about loyalty but shows no loyalty to Jason. Jason says Sonny's never been perfect, but he's changed, and this Sonny isn't the Sonny from before. Jason says they should get her back to the dorm. She says she won't sleep, she can't sleep, and she keeps having a nightmare of Sonny standing over a dead Dex with a gun. She wishes she never followed and found Dex. Jason says if she cares about Dex, he must be a good guy, and he won't let Sonny kill Dex. She thanks him, and they embrace. Christina drops by Molly's to vent about Joss and how Joss crossed a line tonight. She says Joss told her that her dad ordered Dex to kill Cyrus. Molly thinks Joss was out of line, but Sonny does have a reputation. Christina isn't naive, but doesn't believe her dad would order Dex to kill a broken-down old man. Christina knows her dad beat up Cyrus on New Year's Eve, but he must have provoked her dad that night. She knows her dad has a temper, but she refuses to believe her dad would order an old man's execution. Molly stays quiet. She eventually encourages Christina not to let Joss get to her, but Christina can't help it. She says Joss went too far, her dad defends himself, and poor Charles, and doesn't go after innocent people without provocation. She says her dad is a good person and even supported Joss through her life. She knows her dad is on edge, but he's dealing with Nina breaking his heart, Jason coming back and Ava living in his apartment for God knows what reason. Molly thinks her dad is lucky to have her to support him. Christina decides to get home and relax by listening to some of the music Molly gave her. She thanks Molly for being here for her. At the hatchet-throwing range, Sam vents to Dante that Danny and Jason both won't listen to her. Dante understands her frustrations. Sam says Jason has broken her heart twice by falling off the face of the earth. She knows the first time wasn't his choice, but he won't explain the second. She knows Danny would be devastated if Jason disappeared again. Dante knows she isn't doing anything wrong, but she doesn't want Danny to think he's wrong to want a relationship with his dad either. Sam just knows it's too dangerous for Danny to be around Jason, and it's why she and Jason broke up in the first place. She won't allow the danger that surrounds danger back into their life and home. Dante recalls growing up not knowing his father and wanting to know him. Sam says his and Danny's situations aren't the same, but Dante says Danny wants to know his dad. He asks if she thinks Jason would manipulate Danny, but Sam knows that's one thing he's not, a manipulator. She says it's Jason's honesty and openness that makes him approachable, but also a threat. She also admits it stings that Danny sees Jason as the fun, cool parent. 
She argues that Jason has no idea how to be Danny's father. She fears Danny is pulling away, and she won't lose her son. Dottie says they are having a rough patch, but Danny loves her and that won't change. Sam chooses to believe him for tonight. They head out. Dex talks with Anna, and she knows some of the cops got to him tonight. Dex thinks they both underestimated how tough it might be for him to join the four. Anna asks if he is thinking of giving up. Dex wants to do work, but he didn't consider that the other officers wouldn't want him on the force with them. He won't put himself by.